Good morning. Whatever the day of the week it is that you're watching this, happy day. <laughs> um, today I thought I would go through my fridge with you, which sounds really odd, and I guess it kind of is, except um, it's something that's requested often, surprisingly enough. So you guys seem to want to know what's in my fridge, so I'm going to show you. <laughs> so, welcome to my humble abode. This is my kitchen. Ta-da! I'm obsessed with my fridge because I spent hours making it. I covered it all in Polaroids and I will tell and show everyone who asked because I can. Oh, and do you like my new jumpsuit? It's 34 degrees today here in Australia, which is Celsius by the way guys, which means it's hot, like super hot. So it's time for me to get into my summer mood. All right, so obviously I haven't gone and stocked the fridge specifically for this, but I did go shopping two days ago. So I have a fair bit of stuff in there, um, but I still have a fair bit of stuff in there that I have to use before it goes off. So let's get to it, hey? Ta-da! This is my fridge. Say hi, fridge. And I'm gonna go through what's in there. So, Natalex is my butter of choice. It's dairy-free, oil-free, gluten-free, soy-free, lettuce-free, you can read, so I'm not gonna say the rest, but you get the point. I love Natalex. Mustard because who doesn't love mustard? Cheap jam, because who doesn't love cheap jam? I know that you shouldn't really buy that stuff and you should get better stuff, um, but sometimes I just really like the cheap stuff. This stuff isn't as cheap, but it's still cheap, but it doesn't look as cheap. Um, I just really like jam. I have a sweet tooth, and so on toast with Natalex, it's perfect. So this one is just some sweet chili sauce, a whole huge ass bottle, and a lemon. Just, just one lemon. <laughs> um, and then we've got some minced garlic, Udo's oil. So if you've never used Udo's oil before, I definitely recommend it, especially if you're vegan or plant-based. It's got all the essential three, six, and nine fatty acids. It's really good for you. You can put it in food, on food, whatever you like. Some soy mayonnaise. Um, I've never tried that brand before, but I'm really liking it, so I think I'll stick with that. Vegan aioli. I got this from my local health food shop just yesterday and had it last night with avocado on toast and it was, oh my god, incredible. So if you haven't tried it before, I do really like this brand. Oh, it's Byron. I should just get it when I'm in Byron. And then, sorry, I can't move the camera. And then we've got my sauerkraut. So recently trying to get into fermented foods because I know that they're so good for you. So this one's kimchi. And I'm pretty excited to try it because one, it just looks beautiful with all the colors. And two, it's good for you. And then this one is beetroot and ginger. The colors are just insane, aren't they? So I'm excited to use those. And then down in this drawer, I have my liquids. So coconut water, soy milk. Um, I'm not fussy with the brand of soy milk that I use. And I know that a lot of people aren't cool with using soy milk because they think that there's too much estrogen in it. But I don't use it a lot or for everything. So this bottle here has lasted me like a week. Um, maybe even longer than a week. Oh, it's a bit one concerning. Um, this is just a water bottle that's good for the environment. I got it free at an Ocean Gala event that I went to in San Francisco one time. And free is my favorite number. And then this one is another water bottle. And it has crystals down the bottom there. I don't know if you can really see that when it's foggy. But... Um, I can't actually remember what they do, but they're supposed to balance your pH and your um, acid levels and alkalinity levels, you know, all that jazz. Look how cool my hand looks in the back. Woo! Um, yeah, and so I've been told that you drink out of that, it makes you feel good. So I do. Heading up into this compartment. If you guys know me well enough, you know how obsessed with coconut water I am. Um, this is just a little stash at the moment. Normally I would have a whole fridge full, but at the moment I don't. Blueberry, uh, blackberries are one of my favorite berries in the entire world. They are so um, like sour, which I adore. I know that they shouldn't be in plastic and I'm currently trying to convert everything in my fridge to be more environmentally friendly in glass containers. But at the moment I haven't got enough containers so I have to go shopping. Cherry tomatoes because I love cherry tomatoes and a big torb of hummus. <sighs> So these are a jar of blueberries, coconut yogurt. This is a new one um, at Aldi actually, so I haven't given it a go yet. I'll let you know how it is because Aldi doesn't normally have coconut yogurt, so I was really excited to find that. 
And this one is a jar full of cherries and raspberries. And then up the back here, we've got some date and coconut balls. Some of those are cacao as well. And then all the way up the back, we've got some pitted olives. I'm a bit weird with olives. I don't actually like them, but sometimes I really crave them. <laughs> so I have them in the fridge for those times. Weird, I know. And then we've got my hemp seeds. Whoop, whoop. So these are the ones that I've, um, I tried up in, in Byron and love them. So I'm assuming that they're gonna taste just as good here. I haven't opened this packet yet, but I will because I'm obsessed. And if you read the bag, it says, hemp is surely the most eco-friendly substance there is. What? And then heading down, we have a whole bunch of zucchinis because I'm obsessed with zucchini pasta, zucchini everything. I just love zucchinis. One very, very, very large cucumber. Very large. Whoa. Whoa. Again, I know I'm sorry for the plastic, but Continental Parsley is, I am, I'm obsessed. Like I use it for everything that is my go-to herb. That and basil, woo. And then this is a cold fruit bowl. Look at this guys, this is insane if you ask me. This is a passion fruit. This is also a passion fruit. Like look how outrageously tall this one is. Crazy. <laughs> Cost me $4.70, so it sh should hopefully be worth it. Um, a whole bunch of mangoes, and then underneath are some apples. Because it's summertime, it's mango season. We've got more coconut water down the bottom. Some oranges. I really want to get a juicer so that I can stock up on more fresh fruit. And some baby white potatoes. So these ones are great because you can actually put them, I know again, I'm sorry for the plastic, but you can actually put these in the microwave in their bag. And they cook just like that. So in this one, we've got a big bag of baby spinach. 300 gram bag, because I go through that like nothing else. And mixed salad. So if anyone has any tips for me on how to better store my leafy greens, please tell me, because again, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of plastic and I'm trying to learn how to use less of it in my life. And then this drawer is a big drawer full of a whole heap of carrots and a whole heap of avocados. There was like eight in here at one point. One, two, three, four, five, okay, now there's only six. Oh, I had two last night. Um, and tomatoes so this is like I don't really know why the carrots are in there but normally like if I feel like tomato and avocado toast this is my draw yeah so that's it for the fridge let's head up to my room no let's go to the freezer I know for a fact that in a lot of households the freeze is kind of like a no-go zone like you just don't really touch it but I use it all the time because it usually has all my frozen bananas and everything like that in it. So my freezer is kind of like my staple actually. So like I said, it's pretty empty at the moment. Normally I have crazy amounts of bananas. Actually, anyone know some plastic free um, freezer safe containers? Cause I would love to have a huge container here, like huge full of frozen bananas. Um, yeah, so this is like the lowest I've ever been on bananas. So that's bananas. That's lemon, in case I feel like adding a bit of zest. Frozen mango, spinach rolls, those are just from Aldi, both of those, actually all of these are from Aldi. Um, raspberries, frozen raspberries, and another box of frozen raspberries. These are when I get super desperate. So normally I'll use fresh vegetables, but if I'm that lazy, that's my go-to. And then some ice cube trays. And then over here, we've got spelt flour wraps, which I'm excited to try these. I haven't tried them yet. 100% vegan, no added sugar, certified organic, stone ground, woo. Um, and then my new breads. So Soul Breads is the brand. This one's Mega Green, and this one is Quinoa. And as you can see, the ingredients look pretty good. So I'm totally excited. The other thing I have is this bowl over here filled with bananas and avocados. So bananas actually help to ripen avocados quicker and better. So I always tend to put them together and then the riper avocados that I have, I put in the fridge so that they last a little bit longer. Got it down packed, I love my avocados. Um, and then the bananas I keep in here until they go ripe or overripe and then I will put them in the freezer for my smoothies. Mint, mint. So that is my fridge though. So thank you for joining me on my fridge tour. 
Um, I might, if you're lucky, film a little cupboard tour as well, so you know it's in my cupboards. And, um, but you'll have to watch that another time. Oh, unlucky, unfortunate. This video's probably gone on too long already, considering all I've done is show you the inside of my fridge. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I love you. Mwah.